this day, two years ago, Alton Sterling was shot and killed by a Baton Rouge police officer, sparking calls for change. Tonight, Local 33 Amber Smith takes a look at what has happened since that day and what pleas for help remain unanswered. Don't move, bus, stop. This day, two years ago, is forever a part of Baton Rouge history. Protests erupted after the death of Alton Sterling, demanding change and sparking conversation about police community relations. What can be done to improve racial relations and what policies need to change? Those questions were discussed at the Capitol. This is a needed conversation and a worthy conversation. And took center stage in the East Baton Rouge mayoral race. I believe that there are people in our community who want to make sure that we work together, citizens and law enforcement. Since Sterling's death, Mayor President Sharon Weston Broom took office. Murphy Paul was sworn in as the new BRPD chief. Both the U.S. Department of Justice and the state attorney general decided not to file criminal charges against either officer involved. The Louisiana Department of Justice cannot proceed with a prosecution. Murphy Paul fired Officer Blaine Salamone and gave Officer Howie Lake a three-day suspension. Mayor President Broom enacted five new BRPD policies focused on de-escalation. Officers went through a fair and impartial policing program. Can they be impacted by their implicit biases? Of course. And the Office of the East Baton Rouge Public Defender held Know Your Rights meetings alongside Councilman Lamont Cole. I think this would have made a difference with Alton Sterling, Sandra Bland, Eric Conn, and the list goes on and on and on and on. Some things have changed since that day two years ago, but violent crime rates remain high in Baton Rouge. We have been on a little bit of a faster pace this year than we were the year before, which is not a good year. And some feel racial tensions still run high. Many of the changes that came were two years in the making, and some hope more are still to come. We want policy changes, we want reform. Uh, we want something done. For Local 33, I'm Amber Smith. Well, the ACLU tweeted about the anniversary of Sterling's death today, saying, quote, we demand an end to the epidemic of police brutality against community of colors.